All righty then. Um, I like what I'm seeing in the behavior of the silver stock, uh, SLV. Uh, every time we come down below the or at the 200-day uh, moving average, it always closes up above the 45-day moving average, and it's done that three days in a row now. And it uh, looks like it's finding support at the 200-day, which is about 12, 1246. And the 18 days about 13, so it's kind of being squeezed into a wedge, and it'll have to make up its mind which way it wants to go. Probably next week. Um, so breakout above the 18 day would be definitely be a buy signal. Now it seems like it's consolidating, and I know that uh, the demand for gold and silver are rising. Um, it's like the market, like it's like the metal just being pulled off the market, but it's still being manipulated downward uh, with the paper sales. So. Um, it's going to be a short squeeze here pretty soon. Uh, I can feel it coming. And um, since we broke out above the 200 day really strong, and we're just coming back to find support now. Um, looks really good. Uh, also, trying to keep an eye on PHO for water and DBA for food. Uh, they, they don't move up real big in percentage wise, but that'll be something. Those, those will be huge in the future. Water and food, especially water. Uh, there's starting to have water supply problems all over the country so and, and actually the world uh, so that'll be the new the next oil I think um, let's see what else uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a video on the uh, Mayan calendar um, I might I don't know if I'll do it tonight or not it's just uh, uh, the explanation that I found uh, is pretty pretty damn interesting so I think I'm gonna just do a little video on that and uh, Kind of, kind of makes you, uh, I don't know, realize what's going on today and uh, how you can kind of gain some perspective on what's happening and why uh, there's no, there's no reason, reason to hate the, uh, hate the Illuminati and the NWO and all that. Um, they, they it seems like they're just a catalyst to propel us uh, to a, to a better place. So, we'll, we'll see, we'll see in 2011. Um, they say that the, the world ends December of 2012, but that's not accurate. Uh, it's really uh, uh, October 28th of 2011, uh, if you do the math right. So uh, the 2012ers are wrong, or they just have a different way of, of interpreting the information. But uh, let's see. I think this information is more accurate, and it's pretty damn interesting. So I might put something together tonight and do it. I'm uh, kind of tired today. But anyway, um, hold on to your silver. Uh, there's going to be a buy signal here soon. There has to be, uh, based on the six-month chart. And uh, I heard that uh, I heard that the gold interest is rising. Um, some kind of I can't remember the name of the orders, but the public is buying gold uh, in in large amounts. And there's rumors that it might be being confiscated and pulled off the market and hidden. Uh, so we can't get our hands on it. So when it runs up, they make all the money and, and we don't. So make sure you own silver and there's nothing wrong with trading the SLV. Make sure you have real silver first. Um, I just trade the SLV. Well, the entries and exits aren't very uh, often, but uh, I, I can smell a buy signal coming here soon. If we fall below the 200-day moving average again, then I don't know what's going to happen. but. It spent so long between nine and ten dollars. Uh, I think that's those days are over, and we're just having we're just having like a nice correction here from the huge run up uh, between uh, January and February had a big run. So anyway, uh, that should do it for now. Um, I expect uh, silver to rise tomorrow. I expect the SLV to come up. It's being squeezed into a wedge. It's a real tight wedge, and it touched both. The high today was at the 18-day moving average, and the low was at the 200. So it touched both moving averages. So it's being squeezed, and pretty soon uh, all those orders will be filled, and then all that's left are the buy orders that are higher than that, so they'll come up. So anyway, uh, and that'll be good, finally. <laughs> I'd like to have a little bit more profit on my on my physical. Uh, that, that will be good. Anyway, I'm rambling. So look for my other one on the Mayan calendar. Uh, um, it's going to be cool. It's pretty damn interesting, and it's pretty exciting about the next couple of years. So uh, I might do it tonight. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> I'll take a shower. Maybe I'll feel better. <laughs>